Hey, how you doing? This is Rob. Um, we've been setting up for commencement for 2012 for December, and um, we're in the Texas A&M University Commerce Fieldhouse. Thought I'd give you a backstage tour of some of the audiovisual stuff that we do for commencement. We do this three times a year. Um, some of the things that we do as far as the uh, audio video uh, visual team for uh, commencement we do camera setups do a three camera shoot and that goes to a switcher which gets recorded if people want to uh, buy a video of the uh, commencement ceremony they can do so and uh, also we send it to closed circuit television in case we have a lot of uh, family members and guests that come in and they don't have a ticket. There's not enough seats in the field house We send that to overflow rooms. So I'm going to show you a little bit of what we do backstage and uh, how it's set up Well, as you can see these are all the seats for the graduates tomorrow Tomorrow every one of these seats will be filled up We've got three ceremonies going on Start at 830 in the morning. It's a it's a long day for us, but we enjoy it um as you can see, the stage is up here. When we uh, set up for commencement, it's pretty much an all-university uh, team effort. Maintenance has to set up the stage. Facilities takes care of all that. They set up all the chairs as well. And we bring everything from the auditorium that we use, such as the, uh, the lecterns and the podiums, the flags, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, we have audio uh, systems set up from Mainline Productions. Our good friends over there do that every time. Uh, so we don't have to worry about that. I do a screen setup. And uh, we also uh, send the, uh, do graphics on the screen and uh, the close-up shot when uh, the, the students get their diplomas. And uh, this is Kurt's uh, setup. This is the audio rig for the uh, ceremonies tomorrow. Pretty modest uh, mixer setup. They use the Cobra line array, which is pretty neat. Covers the, the room very well. The acoustics in the field house aren't the best in the world, and that's just trying to be nice about it. But uh, they do the best they can and, and try to make sure that everybody can hear the ceremony. The setup for our audio visual and our camera setup is right back here. This is the um, the setup that Jeremy Gomez has been using for switching the cameras. We do a high definition uh, camera switch that does get sent to uh, standard definition land for um, our closed circuit feeds. Um, data video switcher has a couple of big flat panels that have the individual camera monitors on them. So that's pretty neat. This is the high def rig. This is the low def rig. It's what I use for uh, sending stuff to the big screens. Have a Videonic switcher for selecting between the, uh, the camera feed and also uh, the graphics that I put up, uh, which is, includes the university logo and things like that. Um, have a separate control for the center screen. And uh, you can put an independent source up there. Use a couple of laptops here. We've got that going on. and. Uh, Anyway, that's our setup for the uh, switching. I'm going to show you the setup for the cameras. This is camera three right here. Camera three usually gets a shot of the graduates. It's usually pointed port, uh, back toward the uh, seats there. Um, also, tomorrow we are going to be uh, webcasting, doing a live stream for folks that can't make it to commerce and, uh, and see it. We're going to be streaming on Ustream. And uh, so that's kind of a, a new thing that we've been doing. Uh, I think this is the second time that we've done it. And that there's actually a separate camera for that. And that's the way we'll be, we have been doing it at this time. But uh, we have a, com a camera operator down here for camera three. Now I'm gonna take you upstairs, which is up there, to the crow's nest for camera two. We're up in the crow's nest here. This is camera two, or actually this is where camera two will be tomorrow. Here's the tripod for it, but we pulled that camera and uh, locked it up. Tomorrow there'll be a camera operator up here. This is probably the best seat in the house, as far as I'm concerned. They can have a great view of everything. They can see everything every, when everybody comes in. They walk in from over in that area. The processional comes in and 
comes along and goes to the stage. The students come in and sit in their uh, seating sections. And uh, this is the camera two perch. This is what we'll be here where he'll uh, we'll be getting his shot from. We have camera uh, program monitors so the camera operators can actually see what's up. Something I've tried to, to do every time. That way they know exactly when they're up on their, their camera shot is live. And so that helps us to, uh, to make sure we get the best shots possible. This is camera two. This is camera one, again, where camera one will be tomorrow, the, since we put the camera up. But uh, he'll be on this platform right here, uh, getting his shot. It'll be the primary uh, uh, platform shot, and he'll be uh, shooting that up there. Um, again, he has a little monitor. I have these cute little TVs that, uh, that uh, we can use to make sure he knows what's up on program. This is camera one's platform right here. We're over on the faculty side of the stage right now. Um, this is where the faculty sit. They'll be sitting in all these chairs over here. Back a few years ago, I started putting up another screen for the faculty to see. Uh, they're on the side of the stage and they could kind of see the, the side view, but you know, I just thought, why not? We got some projectors, got some screens. Let's just put one up. And so they can sit over here and, and have a good view of the different camera angles that we'll put up. Uh, and this is actually the program video from the switcher. The two big screens actually uh, don't get program video all the time right now. We're not really doing iMag for up there. Uh, we do um, for the diploma shot. Uh, that way that, that goes up on every projector and uh, people can see their students and the family members get their degrees um, when they uh, go across the stage. This is where the uh, the main processional comes. They come, actually come in right through there but uh, this is where the folks come in, uh, our guests come in uh, from that door right there outside the building and uh, they have to kind of shut things down when the processional comes in to make sure that there's enough room for them to go. Um, we also have a couple of screens that we put on the side just to kind of help uh, the people on the fringe areas here see. We've got a couple of older rear projection screens that, are, uh, that still work. And we put the projectors actually behind the screens over there underneath the bleachers as much as we can. And so that uh, goes up and hits the back of the screen there and uh, tries to try to keep everything out of the way um, as far as that setup goes and hopefully they can see that on the sides you get, you get too far around the edge here and you can't see anything so that's for our people on the uh, on the edges of the stage here the back section of bleachers here kind of the uh, let's shall we say more antique section of the uh, field house bleachers. It's kind of scary sometimes when you walk on these things, you gotta be careful. But uh, it actually gets a pretty good view of, uh, of the whole thing. This is the field house at Texas A&M University Commerce. Built in 1951, I believe. It's the home of our uh, volleyball, women's volleyball, as well as men and women's basketball all of our uh, sports that play in here call this home so uh, then one three times a year we kind of invade for commencement and we set it up and and that's what we do so hope you enjoyed a look at behind the scenes now again tomorrow this place is going to be packed and uh, i'll try to get some footage with it uh, with all our uh, guests in here so we hope we have a good day tomorrow. Uh, again, three ceremonies starting at 8.30 and going till about 5 o'clock. Anyway, have a great day and uh, have a good weekend. Hey, it's Saturday. We're doing commencement today. Uh, remember I showed you that there wasn't very many people at the, or there wasn't anybody here last night? Well, surprise, we've got a full house today.
This is the camera two position. Getting all the shots of the uh, people coming in and the academic procession and the students are all down there. This is for the College of Education and Human Services. They're already you know, one big section out there for them. Keep your eyes and your ears open. Dun, 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 dun. 